What's up, everyone? This is Jeremy, Stupefy Films. Welcome to the channel. It's uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I posted. That being said, I've been getting back into my uh, some bullet journaling, trying to figure this out. I also added these little little tabs here on this thing to kind of help, like when I have an idea for a short. So it gets hard sometimes when I'm at work and I have some creative thoughts. Um, so since I've started getting back into my bullet journal, this has helped tremendously keep me on track, on goal, with like my at work stuff. I find putting the notes on my phone doesn't work as well as uh, writing them physically down. So with that being said, I am currently working on some short film ideas. I have like one big one that's just been like rattling around in my head. It could it could very easily be turned into like a whole series type of situation. Like I have an idea for the entire environment. It's like a whole world type situation. It's kind of a fantasy, but it's more of like an urban fantasy type type of thing. I don't want to give too much of it away. Uh, that one isn't, isn't going to be coming out for quite some time. But I was struggling with in that one when I was just doing some pre-production planning and that was like how do I tell some backstory without well short films no budget so how do I show backstory with something that I just don't have like the resources to create that thing so how do I show kind of some backstory without just telling you some backstory so my thought idea that I have here because I've seen it in other flicks I can't think offhand like what I've seen them in newspaper clippings so like my thought was some newspaper clippings up on like a pin you know up on like a cork board type of thing or it could just be pinned onto the wall it doesn't have to be a cork board I want to say it's a post-apocalyptic but it is kind of post-apocalyptic type of storyline that this story kind of follows so I picked up some newsprint because I'm like I need to have like news like a news, like some news articles that I can post up and just have them up on the board because I have a smaller short film that I'm implementing some of the ideas that I have for like the larger one that's gonna, it's probably gonna be years before I'm actually able to create that one because I actually want to get to a budget for the more expensive one because I actually think that that one could actually become more and there could be like more backstory to it, there could be more um, characters involved with that one. So right now, currently, putting that larger one aside, because sometimes it's hard to look past, but I have this, where's the coffee, short film that I have an idea for. It's uh, kind of, has some like similar thoughts and some similar things that I want to do in this short that is going to be used in like my larger short. So, but it's hard for me to take like these ideas and make them simple so that I can just easily do them. I've had ideas, I've written down short film, you know, kind of step by steps almost, kind of just like notes, almost like shot list, but not shot list. It's like shot list with like dialogue thrown in there. Right now I've kind of got like that combination shot list script type of thing going on for this short. So I've got some plans there. Um, and then trying to, it's not so much of a backstory on this one, but it is, to the issue that's at hand. This is going to kind of explain what the issue is that I'm having. When we put it in an order today, I actually had our person pick up a newspaper as well. That way I can just kind of make like one piece, like one sheet, and come up with like the different little articles and stuff for like a front page type of thing. And it can just go on top of here so it's not actually showing like the paper but then because I have this paper I still have like the bulk of the paper. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up that I mean I think I've literally posted four videos and right now I've currently got like four subscribers so I've got like a subscriber per video which is kind of weird. It's very strange. I've been shooting videos but some of the things that I was shooting was kind of based on tech but I have a Jeremy on Tech channel that I haven't posted anything in like, it's been like eight, two years I think since I posted anything anywhere, since I posted anything here, since I posted anything on my Jeremy on Tech channel. So it's been a long time since I posted 
like any videos whatsoever. So like I've been kind of planning, but I haven't implemented anything. So now uh, with the help of my bullet journal to help me stay on task. Um, this will allow me to get some ideas down and then kind of pick out those ideas and then hopefully get some that are easy enough to where they're obtainable for me to do within like a week or two. I also want to put this out there as some questions for you all. If you all are also trying to like create creative projects, like how, how do you compose them? Like how do you plan for them? Do you bullet journal like I'm doing here? Um, some of the background stuff here like I'm trying to create like do you also create your own props or are you more of like you just go out and try to find the props um, I almost thought of going on like Fiverr to see like how cheaply I could get somebody to create just like a fake newspaper you know for me that has like the particular articles that I need but then I'm like I don't have any budget if my channel ever does make some money that money is probably just gonna go towards like the implementation of like shorts or even a, maybe a feature someday I don't even know I, don't, I just don't know where this is gonna go how far I can get it to go uh, I do have hopes and dreams of doing that at the same time like you know I've, I've got to be realistic for myself for my family and make sure that like I'm not making choices that's going to like, I don't know, I'm not looking to break us so that I can pursue this thing. I'm just looking to try and do what I can do with what I've got, which right now isn't much of anything for like money that I can pour into these videos. <sighs> Hello, Bean. Hello, Bean. Hello. All right, but uh, that's it for me. Um, I, now I gotta try to edit this video down because I got a couple of tangents and y'all are probably just over here looking at my dog because she's in the background just kind of chilling back there but uh yeah with that being said I am working on things if you guys have any questions about uh, bullet journaling let me know and I'm still kind of I'm still kind of finding my way so I can show you guys kind of what I've been using and how I've been going about it because uh, I was bullet journaling for a while and I have slightly changed kind of the way I break down my week and then break down like my thoughts. So with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. That just sounded weird. Uh, I'm gonna go. Peace.